Hi, this is Steve Wiedemann. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to update your host file on your computer so that you can see a website in development. What's great about this method of um, modifying your machine is that when you're ready to launch the website, your new website, all you have to do is go into your registrar and change the IP address, and boom, your site is live. No copy and, and paste and, and um, find and replaces to do within your uh, website from your staging.site.com or whatever URL you happen to be using. Instead, if you just use the URL on the new server of the new domain that you're going to use, or of your current domain, all you have to do is modify the host files and you're, you're done. So check this out. So let's go to Notepad down here. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to choose Run as Administrator. Then what I'm going to do is navigate into the folder of Windows System 32. Just go to Open, and you'll see that I'm in C Drive, Windows, System 32, Drivers, etc. Kind of a deep folder, but it's an actual folder called etc. So putting this in an email sometimes confuses people. So I thought I'll just do a video. So that's it, Windows, System 32, Drivers, etc. If you're on a Mac, may the force be with you. <laughs> there are definitely some videos to help you through it. Uh, but as I recall, there's a lot of command prompt stuff, and it's really clunky. Um, so I'm going to select down here on the bottom right, instead of text documents, I'm going to choose All Files. And then I'm going to open up Hosts. Select Open. And here we go. So here's an example of a site that's in development, toselfish.com. I put the IP address that the staging server is on, space, and the domain name, space and www dot the domain name. So that way both, both versions are in there no matter how you get to the particular website. When you're ready to, uh, to test the live site, simply put a hash sign right in front of that number. And that'll make sure that, um, that the site goes back to the, the site that's currently live. When you're ready to go back to staging, simply take off the hash. Save the file, maybe just keep it minimized while you're working between staging and development to make it really easy. Anyway, this is Steve Wiedemann and how you, do, um, how you modify your host file on your machine when you're testing between a staging server that has the same URL um, and you're using the live server kind of toggling between the two. Much, much easier than using some separate URL as a testing server. Anyway, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below or send me an email. I'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.